Hello coolers, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with second choice goalkeeper Inaki Pena as it has been reported that Barcelona are already negotiating the contract renewal of the 23 year old La Masia graduate. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly talking about Real Madrid president Florentino Perez as he has recently claimed that Brazilian superstar Neymar chose FC Barcelona over Real Madrid's 45 million euro offer in the past. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into it in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch the video right up to the very end. Inaki Pena is one of several Barcelona first team members whose contract with the club stands to expire at the end of the ongoing season. And while recent reports indicated that director Matteo Alemani would start addressing the case of such players in January, a fresh update from Matteo Moreto claims that Barcelona have already started negotiations with the camp of Inaki Pena over a new deal. The 23-year-old La Masia graduate spent the second half of last season out on loan at Galatasaray and made a solid impression. Upon returning to Barcelona last summer, Pena was inserted as the number two behind Mark andre Stegen, with the club opting to get rid of Neto Morora. And there are a lot of expectations for the Spanish goalkeeper for the future. That is why Barcelona have already begun talks over a renewal for the goalkeeper, well aware that quite a few clubs, including Galatasaray, are planning to swoop for the young star in case his contract is allowed to run down. Pena is here to offer or to make his first team debut for Barcelona, but is held in high regard within the club. With a contract renewal now set to be on track, it is expected that the La Masia product will sign a new deal that will keep him at the club for three to four years. Pena's impending renewal will be another step towards Barcelona long-term plans to tie down the core of the team for the future. Having handed out contracts to the likes of Anso, Fati, Pedri, Gavi, um, you know, and Ronald Araujo over the past as well, along with Inaki Pena, a new day for Alejandro Bade could also be on the works in the near future. Given the form that Ter Stegen has displayed this season, it could be difficult for Pena to get much more game time, but a young star could be given some opportunities in Copa del Rey by manager Xavi Hernandez. I think keeping some of these are young stars for a very long time will be so beneficial for the club in the long run. Inaki Pena is a second choice goalkeeper right now. Of course, last season he was a third choice when Neto was still there. Barca eventually sold Neto to Bournemouth in the Premier League, so Inaki is a second choice goalkeeper. And according to the reports, Barcelona wants to tie his contract for a long term, which will be something interesting for the player who is still very young. Of course, Inaki Pena is still to make his debut for FC Barcelona. The second is on hot red form, so you don't expect to see Inaki Pena anytime soon in La Liga or in the Europa League or whatever. But I think Barcelona are producing the potential of this guy and that is why they are trying to extend his contract to keep him for a very, very long time at the Spotify Cabinet because to know that normally there will be a point in time that the second will be no more, you know. The second is already 30 years old. Inaki Pena is still 23. So he's still far younger, which means that this is just Barca all about trying to secure the goalkeeping spot for a very long time. So let's see how it goes. Of course, Inaki Pena was so impressive in his loan spell last time out in Galatasaray. We quite remember Barca did loan him in the January transfer window of last year to play for Turkish Giants Galatasaray, which definitely I think he made a great impression. He even caught against Barca, that's a funny thing. He caught against Barca in that round of 16 in the competition in the Europa League last season. And he did quite well playing as an opponent for us. So, of course, that loan spell was so important for him. And I think that really contributed for, to, for Xavi to decide that he will be his second choice goalkeeper. I think I definitely think his time will come. You know, 
maybe when the Copa del Rey starts in the, at the beginning of next year, I definitely think the, the, some of those matches, um, Javi will definitely do heavy rotation. And I think Inaki Pena could count his chances there to, to impress the manager. You know, I don't think that second can catch for all the games, but for the Champions League and for the La Liga, their second is the is a player. There's no doubt about that. And also coupled with the fact that their second has been in hot form recently, manager Javi is so happy about that. And of course, um, Inaki Pena is likely to be the goalkeeper for 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 the for the Copa del Rey, especially in the preliminary stages. You know, for the starting phase of the competition when they give us maybe fit tier fit division teams or four division teams. I think. Javi will fancy rotating the team a lot by then. Then on to the next story of discussion. The court hearing involving Barcelona and PSG superstar Neymar Jr. with regards to the alleged corruption in the latter's move to Camp Nou in 2018 started on Monday. DIS, who owned part of Neymar's rights at the time of his transfer from FC Santos to Barcelona, have brought the case against all the parties involved in the move and a demanding prison sentence for the Brazilian superstar, as well as ex-Barca presidents Sandro Rossell and Josep Maria Bartomeu. Real Madrid had also held an interest in signing Neymar from Santos before his move to Barcelona. So Los Blancos president Florentino Perez was also called to provide evidence at the hearing and he did, not, and he did so earlier today via teleconference. Confirming Real Madrid's interest in signing Neymar, Perez admitted that the Spanish capital club had made an offer of 45 million euros for the Brazilian superstar back in 2011. He said, we were interested, I think, like 10 years ago. That's how the Real Madrid sports management told me, although I didn't talk to him about it, Perez said. I don't know what the clause was, but in 2011, the sports management made an offer to Santos, I think, it was 45 million euros is the only offer that i know for in real madrid um, fights the players go where they want neymar i think he wanted to go to barcelona and that's where he went to barcelona perez later commented concluding perez also stated that he had never personally spoken to neymar at the time saying i do not know neymar i have never spoken with him on a personal level nor with odilio rodriguez then vice president of santos so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure to do so if you're just coming across it for the very first time please make sure to subscribe so you always stay up to date until next time bye for now